In October of 2015, edX launched their MicroMasters program as an opportunity for students around the world to take graduate-level online courses from top-tier universities. Nearly two years later, we have the pleasure of speaking to Professor Anand Agarwal, the founder and CEO of edX, to talk about how this program has progressed and how it has revolutionized the face of graduate education. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, my pleasure to be here. So can you tell us a little bit about the mission of edX? edX is a nonprofit. Our mission is to provide a quality education for everyone, everywhere, with a will to learn. Where does the MicroMasters program fit into that mission? In the past, if you want a master's degree, uh, you uh, quit your job or, or uh, after a bachelor's, you spend one to two years in college. You spend uh, $50,000 or $100,000 to get a master's degree. So we launched the MicroMasters programs. Um, MicroMasters are taken completely online. Each MicroMasters is about 25% to 50% of a master's degree. Each MicroMasters is endorsed by a uh, corporation. And if you get admission into the university, the MicroMasters enables you to get credit at the university for the courses that you have taken. How easy is it to get admitted to a MicroMasters program? So the MicroMasters programs are open admission. Everybody's welcome. So if you have a will to learn, you can start learning. There is no admissions. Who have you found to be your main audience for the MicroMasters programs? Undergraduates looking for a career-focused minor, or people who are already working looking for a career change or an advancement of career. Let's say, for example, I'm a student uh, in a small village in India, and I need to take care of my aging parents. And there's no way I'm going to be able to go to campus. I need to stay at home, uh, but I have an internet connection. Hey, I can learn online and get an education at very, very low cost. So what are strategies for third world countries or the universities within them to have their courses appear on the edX platform? One of the things that edX did early on is we made a platform available as open source software. So anybody in the world can download our platform as free software. It's called Open edX and you can launch your own website. And there's 800 other similar sites around the world that are using our software, and many of them are universities. Similarly, many countries have adopted edX. So as an example, the nation of Israel has adopted edX as campus.il, China as Shuetang, France as France Université Numérique. Do you see edX as a replacement for the traditional education system or more as a supplement? We really think of this as augmenting and adding to the portfolio that universities offer. Not just to learners that come to campus, but learners that want to become continuous lifelong learners and want to keep learning even when they're not on campus. Some of our partners are also offering full master's degrees. Uh, Georgia Tech has partnered with edX and we are offering a full master's degree on edX in data analytics for under $10,000. And so by creating more and more efficiencies in quality education, I think we can not only increase opportunity, we can also reduce the cost. Programs that are expensive in the $50,000, $100,000, $200,000 range, I think they will be challenged to make a clear case to learners as to why learners should pay that large an amount. And if somebody wants to contact you, what is the email, what is the website that they can access? Learners uh, can pull out their, uh, uh, their phone, download the edX uh, mobile app, um, or they can just go to our website. Uh, it's uh, edx.org, edx.org. They can start learning for free uh, immediately.